All right, Shalom. This is Brother Kai Ha here with GMS Charlotte. I want to start off by giving all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Father, Yahweh Shai is the name of the Son who was sent to be sacrificed for the sins of the nation of Israel and Israel only. Double honors to my elders and my apostles, that great Muslim, for teaching me this truth. And salutation to you, Akim out there in the four corners, laboring in his truth and pushing with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. I just want to do this little update on this article. It says, Death is coming. Black death warning in nine countries, including Brit holiday hotspots, amid fears plague could spread on flights from Madagascar. Okay. And this is published on, this was published yesterday, the 25th of October, 2017. All right. It says, Plague warnings have been issued for nine countries surrounding, uh, surrounding Madagascar. Amid fears the disease could spread via sea trade and flight routes. The outbreak is considered a much bigger threat to the region than in previous years because it has taken on its pneumonic form, meaning it is airborne and spread by sneezing and coughing. Okay, so you got these places uh, in Africa, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, um, Mozambique, Madagascar, South Africa, and a few others. Okay. And the Lord said that this was going to happen because there was cases, I believe it was in California, Yosemite um, Park, National Park. Yeah, Yosemite National Park, where um, I believe it was an animal found with the plague, man. Okay. And when that gets pneumonic and it starts getting airborne and so on and so forth, man, it's going to go. It's, it's going to affect a lot of people. OK. Uh, I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip some. I'm going to read uh, only the important parts. The medieval, the medieval disease famously wiped out one third of Europe's population in the 13th and 14th centuries. And one of the most devastating pandemics pandemics in human history known as the black death so this black death this bubonic plague is making a comeback man through the spread and power of yahabba shemal shah okay so now it's over there in africa but there was cases where it touched the united states man okay and there's going to be people who's going to be getting sick with this with this plague with this illness with this sickness man and it's going to spread all right Yahab Hashemasha talked about the plagues and the pestilences coming upon the earth, man. All right. So um, there's a lot of people that's going to be out here getting sick and dying from this shit, man. Because Yahab Hashemasha is not playing. All right. This is, this is the black death. Okay. Let me um get a scripture. It's lucky, just bear with me. All right, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7. It says, For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, okay? So, the point that I want to draw from that, matter of fact, I'll just speak on the whole thing. You know, you got um nation rising against nation, North Korea, Russia, China, Japan, ba uh, Babylon, a.k.a. America, all of these countries and nations and kingdoms is about to start going to war. And there's going to be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All right. And that's what we're witnessing right now. All right. We're we're in the last times, man. Verse eight, it says all these are the beginning of sorrow. So a bunch of uh, uh, death, mourning, lamentation and woe and sorrows is coming upon the face of the earth, man, because we're coming into the hour of Jacob's trouble. Okay, Jacob's trouble, meaning um uh, Israel's Israel's troubles, man. All right, Israel's about to get judged. The whole world is about to get judged, really, man. Okay, but it says, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Yeah, so it's about it's about to be um a lot of death going on, man. All right, pestilences, plagues. Okay, the other script. Matter of fact, let me get that word plague right quick. 
Oh, there it was. Plague. It says plague, a large number of harmful or annoying things. A disease that causes death and that spreads quickly to a large number of people. All right, so that plague, that bubonic plague, the black death, is here. All right, there's no avoiding it. All right, there's no looking away from it because... So like it, let me read uh, uh, definition 1A. It says a disastrous evil or affliction, calamity. Okay, so hey, this is about the, this is calamity in itself, man. This sickness, this airborne uh, sickness is, is here, man. Okay. And it's about the, hey, it's about to be a lot of um uh, mortality in the streets, man. It's about to be a lot of deaths, man. Great death. Okay. Let me um get second Ezra's the 16th chapter the 14th verse it says behold the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth okay so the plagues are sent okay these plagues are here the the bird flu the swine flu the superbug okay the bubonic plague all of these uh diseases are sent upon the earth man and it says and shall not return again until they come upon the earth all right, so they they here. All right, they ha it has to touch the whole earth because judgment is going out. Courtesy of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right, the beginning of sorrows, as the scriptures say. All right, let me jump down to verse thirty-seven. It says, "Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack." All right, they're not slack, man. They're not. They're not going to tarry. All right, they're coming near. Okay, as when a woman, verse 38, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb, which pains when a child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. All right, so Yahweh Shema Shah, liking these uh, plagues and pestilences and destruction unto a woman giving birth, man. Okay, travaileth uh, uh, with child, man, because as the baby's coming out, the birth, uh, the birth pains, which is a curse, but the birth pains, all right, they they intensify. Okay, it gets real. It, it gets real intense. All right, that's why they be screaming and shit, and that's exactly how, you know, the people of this world is gonna be, as these plagues and pestilences draw nigh. They're gonna be hollering and screaming like they're having a fucking kid. Okay, verse thirty nine. Even so. Shall not the plagues be slight to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it every side. Okay, sorrows is gonna come upon the world on every side, man. All right, there's there's no there's no escaping this judgment. All right, everybody is about to catch hell. Starting with the nation of Israel, which is your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. Yeah, how about Shema is hey, he's he's not playing, man. All right, this is a real thing we in. Okay, as a matter of fact, let me get that scripture right quick. This is hey, this is even more proof that it's gonna be sorrows on every side. Okay, Amos 5 and 19, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on a wall and a serpent bit him. Okay. Matter of fact, let me start it. Let me go. Let me get verse 18. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahabah Shema Shah. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Okay? And you, 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 uh, you so called Christians out there who claim you know the Bible, the scriptures talk about how when the Lord comes back, it's, it's going to be a sorrowful time, man. It's going to be a lot of death going on. All right? So what the hell are you talking about? God is loving. Uh, God is coming back to save everybody. The scriptures say that it's going to be a lot of death going on. As Yahweh Shema Shah comes back, and that's exactly what's going on. It's a lot of death, or it's a lot of uh, uh, plagues, pestilences, famines going on. As uh, Yahweh, uh, as the King of King and the Lord of Lords, Yahweh Shah makes his return. All right, the day of uh, the Lord is darkness and not light. Okay, verse nineteen: As if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Okay. Now, that could be talking about actual animals, but that's really just talking about all of the, um, 
all of the destruction that's going to be taking place, man. You you cannot escape this destruction. You can't juke. <laughs> you can't juke the prophecies, man. You cannot juke and uh, uh, weasel your way out of judgment, man. Okay. Everywhere you go, it's going to be you know either a, a beast, a plague uh, slash sickness. Okay. There's no escaping this judgment. All right. This is righteous judgment that's coming down on a uh, on the whole world because the King of Kings is about to make his return. Okay, but with that being said, I pray y'all brothers was edified, and until next time, man, hey, shalom.